Hey guys, it's the Craft Cabinet, and today I'm going to show you how to make a camera for dolls. Now, I know I already did a video camera, but this time it's just going to be a regular camera. So, let's get started. And the things you will need for this craft are cardboard, card stock, a hot glue gun, and for some of my younger fans, always have a grown-up help you when working with a glue gun. It is very hot. Acrylic paint. And Mod Podge. And I almost forgot to say scissors. Okay, so first I drew a rectangle on cardboard and a circle. And then on cardstock, um, I put a lot of things. A rectangle, two circles up here, and this one's a little bit bigger than that one, but it's all but both of them are also smaller than the one on the cardboard. And then I put these two circles, which are about the same size, in these circles that are smaller. And I put these little buttons that are going to go on there, too. So now I'm going to just start out by cutting them out. Okay, so I cut out out all of the pieces but these little buttons I'm gonna do that later so these two pieces are the main part of the camera so I'm gonna glue this piece right onto the middle of here with the hot glue gun okay so I glued it together and now I'm going to take this little teeny tiny rectangle from the cardstock and glue it right here. Okay, so I have it glued on now, and that's like the flash part of it. And now I'm going to glue this piece on. It's from the cardstock, and I'm going to put it right around here. Okay, so I have it glued on, and since the cardboard is, like, um, it could easily get smushed in, um, since it could easily get smushed, I'm going to put hot glue up on the top, and in the sides, and at the bottom, and make sure it really sinks into the cardboard. And that'll just keep it um, a little bit more sturdy. Okay, so here it is so far, guys. And for the bottom and sides, when I put the glue in, I waited it. F I waited for it to dry a little bit, and then I pressed down on this sheet of wax paper. And then once it cooled, I carefully peeled it off, and it just made it look nice and smooth and flat. So now I'm going to take this little circle right here and glue it on top of here in the middle. Okay, so I have that glued on now, and now I'm just going to take this smaller circle and glue it right on top the middle of this circle. Okay, so I glued that part on now, and this circle right here is kind of, like, it's got an o a big opening in the middle. So I'm just going to fill it around with hot glue. Just like I did with the rectangle here. Okay, so I now have the glue in there. And I it chose to put it only in the top and the bottom of the circle. So now I'm going to take these two little circles and glue them together on my fingers. Okay, so I have the two little circles glued together, and after I glued them together, I just took a nail file and filed it down and round. So now I'm going to glue that right up onto here. 
Okay, so I have this glued on up here. And that's like the button that you click to take the picture. And now I'm going to take these last two circles over here. And I'm going to glue one of them here and one of them here. Okay, so I glued them on and mine ended up being just a little bit too big, but that's okay because these crafts don't have to be perfect. So now I went ahead and cut out um, the little tiny buttons and I have them in the shape that I want them to be in. So I'm going to start by taking the little circle and gluing it right in here. Okay, so I glued the circle right in there and now I'm going to glue the other ones right above it and below and below and off to the side. Okay, so I glued the buttons on and now we all we have to do is paint it. And you can paint it any colors you want. Okay guys, so here it is. I painted it and put the Mod Podge on it. And the Mod Podge just seals the paint and makes it a little bit more uh like shiny um yeah i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and don't forget to like subscribe and tell me what you think in the comments bye